Um, so I, am t I was going to call this Sleep Your Way to the Top, but that was too provocative for Lisa. So we're going to talk about the stool of a healthy life. What are the three legs? Nutrition is one. We don't want stuff in our food that isn't natural. Exercise, just talk to Lance Armstrong about whether we want something unnatural there. But what about sleep? We readily accept all kinds of medications to help us sleep, and it's time we stop. And why do we sleep? We're not sure. Memories are consolidated while we uh, sleep. Unwanted memories are purged while we sleep. But there is a new theory that is uh, fascinating that shows actually, because there's no lymphatic system in our brain, that when we sleep, the brain cell shrinks slightly, cerebral spinal fluid washes through, and that's a picture here in the red. This is a sleeping brain, and washes out all of the byproducts of cellular processes to keep you healthy. So you need to sleep. The CDC calls insufficient sleep America's newest public health epidemic. Over 70 million sufferers, 55 million prescriptions written last year for sleep meds, 63 billion annually in lost worker productivity. So by the numbers, what do these numbers mean? 6,000 failed car crashes each year caused by sleepy drivers. One in three adults go through their day too sleepy. 71,000 accidents where people get hurt from sleepy injuries. 20% of pilots admit a serious mistake due to sleepiness. One in 20 medical residents have made a mistake because they were sleepy. All of these disasters were linked to people not getting enough sleep, especially Exxon Valdez. You think there was alcohol involved, Lisa? No, it was a lack of sleep that caused that problem. Sleep. Some people think sleep is just a symptom of a caffeine deficiency, right? No, you're accumulating a sleep debt that will be paid back. And the question is, do you want to pay it back the way you want to pay it back or not? Like this guy, 12. Roger Federer, LeBron James self-report that they get 12 hours of sleep a night. So those of you who think it's tough to go without sleep, consider these guys and what they're able to do with more sleep. I love to be sleeping on the tennis court. The two things that we do know about sleep is it's sleep or die. And that's clear. If you go long enough without sleep, you will die. The other thing we know that your rate of brainwave activity slows down as you sleep. So your brainwaves slow down physically. If you measure someone's brainwaves when they sleep, as they get into deeper and deeper sleep stages, you see very distinct characteristics to what their brainwaves look like. You'll notice that this REM sleep looks a lot like when you're awake. When you're awake, your brain is as active as it is when you're sleeping. It isn't this idea that your brain is just calm. In light sleep, you know, you're getting that feeling of dozing off. Stage two sleep, you're disengaged from your surrounding, your breathing increases. Stage three is very important. That's where you get restorative sleep, you feel better, athletes perform better with more deep sleep. REM sleep is rapid eye movement sleep. Your eyes are bouncing back and forth. About 25% of your sleep is spent in this stage. Uh, it is necessary for processing energy preparing yourself for the next day. In a typical night, the variation of these stages looks something like this. R is the REM sleep periods. Getting into N3 deep sleep is very important. As you go through the night, you get less and less of that, more in REM sleep. Some things that go wrong with our sleep include these. These are common sleep disorders, insomnia, restless leg syndrome, narcolepsy, sleep apnea. And these are bad things that plague many, many people, and we need to do something to help folks get better sleep. Obstructive sleep apnea gets lots of attention these days. And that's when some part of your airway restricts the flow of air coming down. People are sentenced to sleep in these CPAP masks, which is very difficult. I'm sure some of you in this room have to deal with those things. How do we get better sleep then and help people who suffer from these things? There are drugs, Ambien, Lunesta. You know, if you can't be waked up, you're not really sleeping. And you don't want to mess with the neurotransmitters and drugs that are over counter things like melatonin, good sleep hygiene, wearable technology, I think is where it's at, where we want to help people in a drug-free way. It just so happens I've invented something that can help people sleep better without drugs. It's called the Sleep Shepherd. Since we don't have a lot of time now, watch Fox 21 News tonight at 9, and you'll see a great story about that. And what the Sleep Shepherd does when you wear it on your head is it adjusts your brain waves to lull your brain to sleep by slowing it down naturally without drugs, this is the shameless commerce part of the program, by the way. Uh, 
and the virtual hammock is available. I mean, the virtual hammock technology built into the Sleep Shepherd is available at sleephat.com. So you want to remember that sleephat.com, and you want to visit this table over here in the corner with my able assistant Joe, who can tell you more about it. And there's another address, vibandcom Joe is going to launch something. Gone. It's not up there anymore. <laughs> <laughs>